So those concentric rings are the jungle rot, the fungus that's going on on Viv's foot. So that's uh, the second time I've had that. You can go um, to the Belize episodes. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. This isn't as bad as Belize. Belize, like my whole foot was on fire because we were walking in mud, but this time I just got unlucky and- uh, But only... this has just started and we're about to go into the canyon and be wet all day tomorrow, so. True. I should have an antifungal, but we're gonna try a Bactaban, which is a anti, um, antibacterial cream. It really hurts, Eric. Yeah, well. It does that when something's trying to grow in your skin. Oh, fuck. Cause that's good enough, right? I love my job, I love my job. Uh, it's uh, early morning on day, is this day two? Or day, three. day three, early morning on day three. And we're gonna head up to that top of that cliff right there and uh, do some uh, shooting, repelling and uh, See, we got a little bit of sleep last night, which was nice. We crushed an edit, got out the daily we needed to for the Adventure Center, and headed over here and uh, slept. Viv slept in the back of the truck back there, right there. And my sleeping spot was just, oh, you can't really see it. <clears throat> see my pads back there. But uh, slept where those uh, the red bag is, down on the floor of the bed. It was pretty nice, not too bad. So we're headed up to the top of that cliff now. You can see the light, little tiny light up there, right there, the guy coming down the rappel. We're gonna come right down that. Well, we better get going. So talk to me, what are you doing? So, because these rappels are so long, and we have about approximately 240 participants coming through here, what we're doing is we're putting carpet on edges of the rock that could, potent could potentially damage the rope. So it's just managing risk to keep teams going through here without having to stop them, pull up the rope, inspect it every time. Having the edges and getting them down. All right, so uh, I'm making it down the uh, rappel. This is a test uh, before the teams come, making sure that everything's groovy. I'm in my bike helmet because Viv wouldn't let me wear my Eco Challenge helmet. But for all of you who know how goofy that thing looks, I'm not here to look sexy. I'm here to do a job. Of course, I look sexy doing my job. How do so you look sexy in an old easy. bike helmet? <laughs> this is not a bike helmet. This is a meteor. This is a climbing helmet. This is an old one, which dates me in a positive way. It means this is not my first rodeo. No, oh, we can tell this is not your first rodeo. Just have to make excuses for this. And we're getting a bit, we're getting a bit tight on the blade. Let! 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 Oh, it's slack. All right. They'll get, they'll get it. I'm not sure why they stopped it. Slack! There we go. Cool. Yeah, so this is where I'm at, coming down. And uh, we're gonna do this, I think, one or two more times with the team. And uh, Vivian will be down there below me, eventually. Uh, and uh, having a pretty good go of it as we uh, test out the rope system for filming here. In a little bit the teams are going to be doing the same thing they're going to be pretty tired and uh they're going to really have to pay attention to their safety we've got a great team up there it sounds like who are doing their thing so that's great and uh getting a little little overhang here hopefully don't do a swirl there we go all right hold on so we're uh, testing the ropes and testing that i can film one-handed while we're doing this so when the teams come down i can break I discovered a couple things that I needed to adjust, and so good thing I did this. One was where to put my camera when I'm on there, when I need both hands. Second thing is uh, my pack. 
was too loose and it was swimming around on me. So I need to definitely make sure that's a lot tighter than it was. So I get down here. And uh, I'll pull off the blade. This was their beaner. No, this is my beaner. Okay. Off the blade! They, uh, should I yell again or? Off play! Take! All right, so we made it down there rather successfully. A few adjustments to make, and I think we'll be able to get the teams to nail it. It's a short belay, but it's, it's actually pretty beautiful, and it's, it's kind of cool because you got a tiny little overhang, and then you got a tiny little face, and you kind of get a little bit of everything in that. And, uh, the view is amazing. Check. I think you can see just below me there. I just uh, followed Seagate down the rappel, about 200 feet, and uh, they're off to the caves. So we're gonna go catch up with them as soon as I am off rappel. We're about to follow the racers into a caving system shared by this river, which dives into limestone underground under their cave and shoots back up. It's quite good going in cycle shorts. It's quite slippy. So we're here in the cave and we're following Seagate in here. Oh, right. <laughs> and uh, oh, be through here. they're looking, I think they're going to come our way. So we might have to clear out of the way. They're looking for a checkpoint in this very tight cave. You coming well, our way? I'm going to see you oh, I think so. Am I good or do you want me to move? Ah, oh, you're fine. Okay, back in the cave part two. The lead teams are a fair bit away off, so we've come back in here for teams three, two, three, and fourth place. And um, we're going to go a bit further into the cave this time where you can actually stand up, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Six times now. So cool. It's a corridor with uh, I don't actually know what that is, but I just touched it. Slag tights. Sorry. Are they slag tights? Well, it's 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 roots mm. or or greenery. It's like a. Uh, it's tree roots or something. It's plant matter, basically. And I'm sure Eric would have something to say about it. Yeah, this right here is actually looking like a fungus. And as the water drops down, the fungus grows with it. That would be my guess. And when I touch the little hairs, it literally recoils a little bit, purely because of the water. What I find really interesting about this cave, unlike a lot of caves I've been in, is you'll notice that the roof of the cave has got mud and uh, sticks and grass on the top of it. That means this cave we're in floods completely full of water during flash floods. So, yeah, that's an interesting one to be in. Imagine this filling with water while we're down here. Shine your light that way and let's have a look at this. Blackness. Cool. It's like a reverse floor. Yeah. The top is just coated with this stuff. It definitely, oh, it's getting smaller now. So they got to come back at the teams. They got to get tight again. So 
Very cool. It looks like the French team is closing in on the two Swedish teams. They're coming into the cave a bit earlier than we thought. And they have to move down through this network and find the checkpoint. Bonjour. How are you? Et ça va? Dis-moi un peu, qu'est-ce qui se passe avec toi? Ça va, il fait frais. Vince! Qu'est-ce que tu fais maintenant? Cherche mon copain! <laughs> Je vous retrouve tout à l'heure! Vince! Looks like the French are having the same problem as the Swedish. There's a lot of paths in here and it's very easy to get lost, so they're losing their friends easily. So this is what life is like on the crew. It, does, it looks pretty good right now, Brian. You hike to the top of a mountain with two backpacks and a drone. And then you realize your phone is the best phone to live stream from, but your phone is the only phone with the DJI Phantom app. Uh, so you try and figure it out, but it doesn't work. I ran down the mountain to my drone, put it up, and realized I didn't have an SD card in my drone. Oh my god, Brian, are you new? <laughs> Brian's new, obviously. The best part is that DJI allows you to record to your phone, but there's a, uh, a maximum in the app that you can record to. So I have like eight, like 30 gigs of free space, but you can only cache so much of it. And my, uh, the app has been caching everything I've been shooting for the last two months. So I went back, I didn't know it was caching to the DJ app. So I started deleting all these old photos, but it didn't make any difference. And I, when she got down, luckily Brad goes, so you wanna do it again? I'm like, yeah, you should do it again. <laughs> oh